Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a phenomenal day today. And today, I'm excited because we're doing a very popular set that they do at Sephora. I feel like they've done it for the past several years, at least the past several years that we have been shopping with Sephora. And it always sells out really, really fast. If you like this set, make sure you go out and buy it online, buy it in stores, check the stores. If it's sold out online, make sure they still have it in stores, call them first. Fun times with Fluffy Rainbows. Um, but today we are going to talk about the Sephora Favorites Sun Safety Kit, which is $39 and is supposed to have a $114 value, but is it, is it really? Um, if you're unfamiliar with the segment that I do, basically I take all the items inside of a value set and I do their price breakdown over via their ounces and their full size sister to decide on what the actual price of that miniature size they're putting inside the sets so you can make a more educated decision on if you want to buy a set or not. So let's get into the set and what it's all about and the items that are inside of it. So I pull like the last several sets I've done. I've pulled the description off Sephora website mostly because I think some of them are humorous because they obviously don't check their work because sometimes they put mistakes in here and it's great. I love it. Um, so this set is a 12 piece curated set of SPF favorites to purchase Protect and hydrate skin. Um, skin type is for normal, dry, combination, and oily. So everyone, everyone is included. All the things. All the things. All the peoples. Um, what else you need to know? This set includes 12 classic favorites and innovatives. In innovations. I can't talk. Innovations with SPF to protect skin from the sun's harmful rays. Sephora will donate $25, $25 from the sale of this kit to Memorial Sloan Catering Catering Cancer Center? I think I'm mispronouncing. Sloan Catering? 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 I'm not sure who that is, but Cancer Center. It'll be in the instruction below. That's pretty cool. I've never seen Sephora do that before. Um, cancer Center, and we'll donate up to one million dollars. So if they sell too many of them, they're only going to donate a million dollars. So that's a lot. So it's not with every set they're going to donate $25. It's every set up to a million dollars. Um, for more information about this charity, they have also put the website on there. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a set for a dear donation like this. If you have, tell me in the comments. What was it? Do you remember anything? Um, so let's get into this set. So the first item in here, we're very familiar with this brand. This um, sunscreen, well not this particular one, but this brand sunscreen is currently in our universal backpack that we take with us down to Orlando. Up to Orlando? Down to Orlando? Directions. I drive there. <laughs> Doesn't that scare you? Um, <laughs> oh, fun times of puppy rainbows. Um, so it is the Kula Sun Silk Drops in SPF 30. It's a .16 ounce. This is... Um, that's not a full size. I was about to say it's a full size. That's not a full size. That's also not a mini. Um, but its value is $7.36. I have not tried these particular items, but I do love the Kula brand. Um, don't know what that accent is I just did. I like them because they're not a greasy, oily feeling sun care. I love them, love them. Um, next in here is from Kula as well. I love that they're putting a lot of Kula in here. Um, it is the Kula SPF 30, 70% plus. What the fudge is a 70%? Um, organic makeup setting spray. So I guess if you're doing your makeup and you're going to need that sunblock protection, I don't know. If I'm normally going through a lot of sun exposure, the last thing I want is a cake of makeup on my face. It's just not a fun time and not enjoyable. I live in Florida, so it's like it's way too hot for that kind of stuff. No, don't do it. At least I don't do it. Um, but this is a 0.34 ounce, and it has a value of $7. So it's a pretty decent size. Um, next in here is from Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare. It is their Docs. Doc? Where is this? What is this accent? I don't know, guys. I don't know what I've been watching. Um, Dark Spot Sun Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Oh, I love that they're putting something higher SPF. I personally mean to see at least use SPF 50 or above because I'm basically a vampire. Like, if they made a shade translucent in, like, makeup, I would be that. But not the, not the Twilight Vampires. But not the Twilight Vampires, I don't sparkle. Why well, do if I put highlighter on? Um, anyway, so back into that product. Um, so that is a .25 ounce, which is worth $6.18. And most of like these one because you get to try... I haven't tried this particular one, but I love these sets because you get to try a lot of different high-end sun care. We don't use high-end sun care on all of our body because our rest of our skin doesn't really need it. Um, but our face, we definitely like to really protect it. Um, and our shoulders. 
face and shoulders is what we normally put the higher end stuff on because um, it's the one that normally gets the most sun exposure and gets like the most harm. Um, but these are very convenient if you're traveling, if you're going on vacation because they're just small and compact and easy to like just toss or toss a little bit in your purse for touch up. Um, so next is from Dr. Jart. It's their Cedar Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment SPF 30. It's a .17 ounce. I have not tried this particular one. It's a $5.20 value. I'm getting all over the place, guys. I am so sorry. I will correct myself. Um, .17 ounce, $5.20. Um, I've used their other Tiger Grass. I've never used the color correcting one. Um, I like it. It's, again, it's not very heavy. That's like a theme with a lot of these brands is they're just not a very heavy, oily, gross feeling sun care. Um, next in here is from a Drunk Elephant, their Ombre Tint, what is, why would it be Ombre? Why would you want Ombre Skin? Mm. Ombre Tint Physical Daily Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. Ooh, um, this is a, I don't know why I oohed like that, but this is a fourth of size. I guess because it's a pretty good size. Um, it's a point five ounce and it is worth nine dollars. We have not tried this pers uh, this product personally so I can't actually give my opinion on it. Um, I know Sissy likes Drunk Elephant, right? You like mm -hmm. Drunk Elephant? Mm -hmm. But we have not tried their sun care. At least I don't believe so. We've tried any of their sunscreen, right? No. 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 Um, next is from Fresh. It is their Sugar Rose Tended Lip Treatment Sunscreen SPF 15. It's a point zero seven ounce and he's worth eleven dollars and twenty cents. I love these things. They put these in a lot of the Sephora lip sets for a long time. I wish they'd include a couple of the different variations rather than just rose. I guess they pick rose because it's more like on the spectrum of like everyone looks good in this because it's just that slight pinky tint. Um, it's not overbearing. It's not too purple. It's not too nude. Um, so I guess that's why they normally put this particular one, but I love putting this. This is also in our Universal Backpack. Um, I was like, because it's just, you, you always need a lip bomb with SPF in it with lots of sun exposure. So very, very handy. Love that one. Um, next here is from Lancome. It's their UV Expert Aqua Gel Defense 50 sunscreen. It's a 0.33 ounce and he is worth $12.87. Um, again, I've not tried this. Um, Aqua Gel makes me think it's more of a water-based sunscreen. I don't know how I feel about that. I prefer cream sunscreen to water-based and same with moisturizer. I prefer cream versus a water-based because I just like the feeling of it better. Um, but water-based typically do feel cooler than creams. So there's that. Um, next is from Murad. This is actually one of the only products from Murad that we have tried and we actually like. Um, normally Murad because it just it doesn't work well for our skin. I have very very sensitive skin and most Murad products are just a little too harsh um, for me. But this is their Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I don't know what the PA++ is. I don't know what that is. Uh, if you know what that means, put it in the description below. Educate me. Um, it's a .17 ounce and it is worth $11.05. The only thing that annoys me about this one, I don't know if it's this particular one because I didn't see the picture of it, um, but it's in a pump and it's a little annoying because sometimes the pump mechanism, like, breaks and then it's, like, hard to get it to try to come out. Um, but I do like this particular product. Um... It's, it's just really nice and light feeling, and it's clear. So you don't have to worry about getting white streaks on your face. So that's always nice. Um, next in here is from Origins. This is their Origins, a Perfect World SPF 40 Age Defend Moisturizer with White Tea. I know I have some of this, but I've not personally tried it. I do love Origins. They're one of my favorite brands. Um, I do like that this is a moisturizer with SPF because I just like the feeling of moisturizers that are also SPF included. Because um, I normally just like a nice, nice cream and then you're doing two in one and I like that. One of the only ways that you can do two in one and I don't have a problem with it. Um, but that is a .17 ounce and is worth $4.50. Um, I know this is a lot guys. There's a lot of products in here. Again, it was 12 products. Um, next is from Peter Thomas Roth, is their Max Sheer All Day Moisture Defense Lotion. And it's a 0.5 ounce for $12.35 is its value. I'm wrecking my brain. I don't think we've used this. I swear I've used a different Peter Thomas Roth sunscreen, but that one I don't believe is the one I've used. So I can't say about that. Um, but I have tried a lot of Peter Thomas Roth skincare and I have not 
fail to have anything that I do not love. Um, next product in here is from Shishadu. I know we've tried this one because it's also in our backpack. We have a tiny little one of this. Um, but it's the Shishadu Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Water Resistant 80 Minutes. Hold on, say that. Um, I love water resistant sunscreen because especially when we go to, uh, down to Orlando when we do Universal's Volcano Bay, I definitely love a water resistant sunscreen because it's like, got to protect that face. Um, but it's 8.23 ounce and it is worth $2.79. Not much. It's also a really tiny bottle. It's like, not big. Um, next is from Supergoop. It's the Supergoop Sunscreen Daily Moisturizer SPF 40. It is 8.5 ounce and it's worth $11.18. Again, love Supergoop. Um, I don't believe that one's currently in our backpack. I think we have Kool. I don't think we have Supergoop. I think we just swapped them out. Um, but Supergoop is another really great sunscreen. Again, it's a recurring theme. They're all nice and lightweight and not oily feeling. Um, and that brings us to the end of our 12 piece set journey. Um, so again, this kit was only $39 supposed to have a value of $114, but did it um, pretty close, not that far off. Um, so, well, it depends on how you want to look at not that far off. It's a little bit, and I, when I'm saying not that far off, it's like in a comparison, like if a set is $50 and it's $40 actually is the value, not $50, if it's supposed to be $50 value, it's a $40 value, versus when you go into the hundreds and then it's off, like it just, does that make sense? Am I talking nonsense? I am Smaller nonsense. Percentage. Smaller percentage of difference. So, yes, this house was $114 and it's actually worth $100.68. So, it's only off by $13.32, but it's still a 61% savings, and that is insane on high end sunscreen. So, if you do want the set, highly recommend go to Sephora, get it now. JCPenney's should have a sister one. It is not going to be the exact same one. So, if you're closer to a JCPenney Sephora, um, let me know. Um, I think we'll probably go out soon to check out our JCPenney Sephora or I'll call first to see if they have one because normally the JCPenney Sephora and Regis Sephora they have sister products um, so they might have a same name or a similar name um, and I don't know typically I end up liking one or the other more um, there was a time where we were definitely liking more JCPenney sets and I think we switched back to Sephora sets um, so definitely I'll be on the lookout for that and be on the lookout for that video but if you want this definitely get it as soon as possible because they sell out like crazy during the summertime. Um, but that's it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, thumbs up, and subscribe. If you want to get notifications on my videos get uploaded, make sure you hit the little notification bell. And if you want to follow me on all my different forms of social media, they'll be in the description below. But that's it for this video guys. Stay foxy.